Hey everybody, it's Jack and Dan. And today, I'll be showing you an edible cell model that I had to do for science. Pretty cool. Yeah, Jack had to do an edible cell model, something that you have to eat, uh, kind of like a diagram of cell. So we figured, hey, since it's Wellness Wednesday, why don't we make it healthy? Just make it healthy. So check this out. So we're making a plant cell first, and we're using this piece of sprouted bread as a cell wall. We're going to put some avocado spread on there. What's that going to be? It's going to be the cytoplasm. We're just going to open it up here and uh, we're going to put some, we're going to use a spoon and what we're going to do is we're just going to take it and we're going to put it on there. I'm going to use flax oil to represent the vacuole. We use flax oil because it has omega-3s. Yeah. And what's a vacuole? A vacuole is a part where it's kind of like a water. It's kind of like a watery area. We're going to use a tomato to represent the nucleus. Mm. It's in the middle. We're going to use a mushroom to represent the nucleolus. Mm. Right there in the middle. Kind of. We're going to use black olives to represent the mitochondria. Yeah. Yummy. We're going to use green olives to represent the chloroplasts. These little green guys. Oh, it's starting to look good now. We're going to use banana peppers to represent the Golgi apparatus. Now you can kind of put them around. Around the nucleus? The nucleus. Yeah. It's cool, man. <laughs> they look a lot like them, actually. Yeah, they do. We're going to use red onions to represent the endoplasmic reticulum. Oh, look at that. It looks just like it. There we go, yeah. Looks delicious. <laughs> yeah. Healthy and a great model, huh? Yes. Way to go, buddy. There we go. You gonna eat it? There's the finished product. I mean, I don't want it, but I know who does. Oh, look who's there. <laughs> this is gonna be an animal cell. This one's gonna be a little more like a dessert. Than anything. It's gonna be less healthy. So we're, we couldn't find, we were going to use a donut as a cell membrane, but we're actually, we, we couldn't find any because all the donuts places were closed. So um, we're basically... So little Debbie gonna, came to the rescue. Yes. And it's a frosted cytoplasm for us, and then it's kind of like a honey bun, so we're just going to use that. So the bun's like the cell wall? Yes. Or cell membrane? Yes, cell membrane. Because animals don't have a cell wall, they have a cell membrane. Yes. And then the frosting is a cytoplasm. Yep. It's got a lot of frosting on it. Yes, it does. So we're going to use a donut hole as a nucleus. I'm going to put it All right, in the middle. Look that. So for the nucleolus, we're going to use junior mints. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. Oh, okay. Oh, um, yeah. There we go. We're going to use Mike and Ike for the mitochondria. Oh, man. Those are the <laughs> mega sour mix. Yeah. We can use raisinets to represent the lysosomes. Oh yeah, those are the dark chocolate raisinets too. They're the best mm. kind. We're gonna use sprinkles to represent the ribosomes. Look at that. Hey. Red ribosomes. Hey. <laughs> Got icing on your lip right there. Okay. We're gonna use bananas to represent a Golgi apparatus. Apparatus, excuse me. Let's put it around there. There you go. There you go. At least there's something healthy on there, right? We're going to use gummy worms to represent the endoplasmic reticulum. Put, put them around there. So this is the animal cell model, but let us know in the comments if you'd like the plant cell model or the animal cell model better. Hey, what are you doing? Well, it looked really good. I wanted to eat it. Well, that's we my school project. You can't do that. Uh, we got it on video. Here, you want something? <laughs> Lacey finished it. Wow, oh, okay. Um... <laughs> 